Okay. So, I noticed after extensive research that the general population does not know about the great story of the hammy. And I, I can hear y'all asking me, you, you 15 subscribers, I can hear y'all asking me, but what is a hammy? That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Y'all don't know what a hammy is. And that upsets me. Um, so I have the documentation of the hammy power on my phone. Unfortunately, the original story of the hammy was, is lost to time. I cannot recover it, but I remembered the story and wrote a quick recap for y'all. And then I wrote the continuation of that story. Um, this story was meant to be told, like spoken in word fashion to the population by the voice of Robot Female. And I feel like it is only right that I, in turn, show y'all the story. Or I don't just read it to you. I let the Robot Female tell you the story. But first, I have to, um, I have to do the recap. So y'all know at least a little bit about the, the hammy power and you get a little bit very little bit idea of the power of the sploogy which was incredibly powerful almost as powerful as the hammy but not quite anyways so uh, this this is the recap and I hope with all hoping this that you understand what what the hammy is a very long time ago there lived oh a thief okay hold on <laughs> okay so um that, that 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 was the uh that was the robot female voice that i was talking about now i need to understand I need y'all to understand that this is incredibly important to the earth and to its survival. So pay attention. Just pay attention. Here it is. A recap. A very long time ago, there lived a thief that used the power of his spluge to steal hammies. But his son fought the thief. The battle was so great that the earth twisted and contorted a stadium for the powerful beings to fight. The hammy user allowed for his father to steal his hammy, and with his hammy that he already had, and now his son's hammy, he became too heavy to move. With that opening, the son fused with the hammy lord of another universe to gain unmeasurable power. But the son did not count for the Hammy Lord to take the son's body as a vessel. After destroying the father of the his new vessel, he made his presence known to the world. Secretly, the Hammy Lord wanted to get the most delicious thing known to him, Poo Poo. <clears throat> Anyways. This is... That I was the recap. And here is the, um... The continuation. The recap was originally named The Story. Appropriately named if you ask me. And I think the recap has an equally as appropriate name. Now. I hope y'all are going to be educated. The Story 2. A very long time has passed since the one who no longer owns a name was used as a vessel for the Hammy Lord. No one saw this coming and no one thought they would have prosperity. 
The Hammy Lord saw this and using the almighty Hammy power bestowed upon him with his perfect vessel created an utopia for all who accepts the inner power of Hammy which lies dormant in every man, woman and sea anemone. However, those who opposed the great Hammy were subject to the greatest of torture. They were stripped of their inner power and was forced to live as hippo slaves for the ancient sweatiest man. It did not take long before the whole world conformed to the new utopia the Hammy Lord created and lived in peace and harmony away from the troubles caused by the overuse of splujays on earth. But the sweatiest man did not pay close enough attention to his stinky slaves and they secretly devised a way to regain their strength by using the hippo dimension's energy. With this newfound hippo power, they easily destroyed the sweatiest man, releasing seven million years of sweat that was contained with the ancient being. The great ocean of sweat spilled over from the hippo dimension to earth but most of the new hippo powered earthlings died underneath the great waves of sweat. One man was able to infuse his hippo with sweat and became the new ancient sweatiest man. With the overwhelming power of sweat and the hippo dimension's overwhelming force. The new ancient sweatiest man attacked the hammy utopia to bring down the facade of prosperity and usher in hippo and sweat induced reality. The Hammy Lord caught wind of the sweat and knew immediately that he needed to take action. Thus began the stinkiest and greatest display of ultimate power the Earth has ever seen. With each clash of the titans, little stinky sparkles started falling on the population of the Hammy Utopia and slowly but surely awoken all of those were stuck in their Hammy-induced commas. They all released their Hammies, now knowing the truth, and gave their energy to their original owner. The Hammy Lord now had his full power at his disposal. But the ancient sweatiest man was not deterred. For he knew the longer he fought, the sweater he became, and the more hippo power grew with his kinetic energy. Out of options, the Hammy Lord created a portal to his home universe, so he could have an unlimited amount of Hammy power. With this new font of power, the Hammy Lord slowly but surely gained the upper hand. The ancient sweatiest man was running out of water to hydrate his body to produce more sweat and it did not take long for the Hammy Lord to start dealing decisive blows to his little finger also known as a pinky. This was the end for the ancient sweatiest man he thought as he started to lose hope. Out of nowhere a great voice could be heard, like, you can't even unlock 100% of your power man. Like a green blur, the Hammy Lord was launched several Hammies away. He never felt such a blow his entire life. He looked up at his attacker but only saw a flash of green and blue as his hammy power was ripped from his soul. You should have like stayed in the hammy universe man. And with that one line the hammy lord was vaporized and everything was normal with the world again. The insanely powerful being dissipated as quickly as he came and the ancient sweatiest man created a new hippo for him to live since he could no longer stay with humanity and that is the end of the great and fearsome power of the hammy. I hope, with complete sincerity, that y'all have learned the, the importance of Hammy power. Although, humanity gave up its power of Hammy, it does not mean it no longer exists. For every time the Hammy Lord used his Hammy power, it had to transition and repeat, like precipitation with rain. It had to transition from him back into the earth, which is where he started giving all of his power to. So even though our power is not as, as mighty as it once was, our handy power is still there. And one day, the rest of humanity will learn what it's like to use him.